this weekend at Camp Seagull was amazing. Yeah. It was super fun. It was yeah. super fun. Really fun. It was. It was really fun. Look around you. There's lots of excitement. Lots of smiles. You know, that's, that's probably the best judge of any event. How many smiles you see? People still are having fun even though they're about to compete, you know, in this world's event. Terrific stuff. We're excited to host the World Championships for the Sunfish class at Seagull and Seafair, particularly because we have the Youth Championships and then the World Championships back to back. We're so excited to be hosting the 2014 Sunfish World Championships at Seagull and Seafair. We really are. It's an exciting chapter in the camp's history. Uh, and for over 50 years, kids have been learning how to sail on sunfish here at camp. And so it really is integral to our program, and we're just thankful to be having this event uh, here on site at Camp Seagull. Being back at Camp Seagull has been a blast. Uh, I haven't been here in about five or six years, so being back and sailing where I learned how to sail is pretty awesome. Probably one of my best moments was yesterday when I was in like 21st, but I came back and got 8th, so that was a really good moment for me. So we've sailed a lot of regattas, and they are very impressed with how smooth everything has gone with uh, Youth Worlds, from check-in uh, to how the race committee has uh, run the course, set up the course, uh, check the wind after every course, and uh, it's it's been a very well-run regatta. There's a great spirit amongst the competitors, amongst the different teams, and, and our volunteers and sponsors on site as well. A totally different place where we have different conditions, where we have different people, and you have like people from all different cultures. It's pretty interesting to like get to know each other. In fifth place, we have Chase Caraway of the United States. Fourth place, John Burkett of Ecuador. In third place, the top female, Daniela Rodriguez of Ecuador. In second place, Alonzo Cayantes of Peru. And in first place, for the 2014 Sunfish Youth World Championship, David Gonzalez Haria of Venezuela. This is special. This is what Andrea Santana had in mind when he began this approximately eight or nine years ago, and it was his vision to have all of these young people. This is, the, this is our class and the future of our class. Well, uh, I finished first, and uh, it was really hard because they are really good competitors, and it was really great. The Sportsmanship Award is pretty unique because the race committee, jury, and competitors will vote on that. And so it's a neat opportunity for them to give their input on who gets an award rather than just the fastest racer or the youngest participant. So when I found out it was being held here, uh, I was just over the moon because I love to sail and this is where I started sailing. Like this is my start and to be able to go to a world championship where I learned was just absolutely incredible. You know, we're here at the end of the youth and we're about to begin the worlds and every youth here for the rest of their life can say they competed in a world event and that is really, really special.